here's one of the cans that uh, I found sometime in the early 90s and put away for many years, over 15 years. This said Tech Pan 36X. And uh, last night, on May 19th, 2014, I did happen to develop this roll of Tech Pan. First roll of Tech Pan that I can remember ever developing. Uh, it's super thin film. Four mil base. It's really thin stuff. It's much thinner than normal film. It's just super thin. I could feel that as I loaded it in the changing bag. Um, this film's been discontinued for years. Kodak Technical Pan Film S-Star AH base, which is an unusual base. This film was super high resolution. Uh, they used to advertise a picture taken of a woman wearing a veil, and you could see the individual threads that comprised the threads in her veil, every pore, every tiny little facial hair. They ran that as a magazine ad, and then they did a close-up on the veil, and it was just astounding to see what this could do in 35 millimeter. This technical pan film was advertised as being the equivalent of 4x5 black and white negative film in the 35 millimeter size. It was a super high resolution film that could out resolve basically any lenses for regular photography. Some of the microscope lenses, of course, were capable of matching this film. But uh, this never did take off, and apparently the last batch of it, which was released in 2004, was from a huge mega roll that Kodak found in storage. And uh, it was just quietly discontinued without much fanfare. Um, eight or nine years after this film was introduced, the T-Max revolution hit. So ultra-fine grain film kind of, you know, faded away. This was not needed, and T-Max 100 was good enough.